Mm, Virgo, what's up? What's the crack? Hope you're really well. Um, this is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a general love reading for like the middle of April but it's timeless so just whenever it pops up in your feed is when you're meant to get it because you know they don't like time upstairs. Um, whether you're new or whether you're a returner, thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Um, for you know taking the time to check it out and if you find that it resonates with you don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel pulled to do that um, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me the link is in the description box below this video so Virgo I'm gonna do what they think of you like how they're feeling about you what's going on with them their intentions your near future and advice for you and then some of the red cards <laughs> so Virgo, like damn, your person is in to you, like this reading is legit ridiculous, um, <laughs> it's so funny, like I don't know, if you're worrying about whether or not this person's into you, like you really need to stop worrying about that, they're a little defensive, okay, like you may be um, finding it hard to read this person because they're showing up here as the king and the queen of swords, right? So this is someone, you might be dealing with an air sign. Um, you might be dealing with someone younger than you, or you're younger than them. But this is someone who, like, they feel a lot, but I don't think they've expressed it to you at all. And I think they're very good at hiding their emotions. Um, it, it comes from, they have a little bit of defensiveness, okay? I think this person's had some bad bad stuff uh, gone down for them in the past, like be it relationships or like, I don't know, just stuff that's happened in the past, but there's a little bit of defensiveness there, okay, but they love you, <laughs> they love you so much, so, so much, like with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, and they really, they fancy you as well, like they, they, there's just so much passion here, it's like this perfect combination of like the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, like the, the really deep love, but like really a lot of passion as well, like uh, you just, they're just, you're just perfect. <laughs> they just think you're perfect, this person with the, <clears throat> this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands and like they want nothing more than this new beginning with you. Um, but like I say, I think this has been very uh, healing for this person because you have the, um, the three of uh, swords with the ten of cups. I think you've you've been really very healing for them. Like they see, I think they can actually see a future with you. You know what I mean? Like they can actually see happiness with you. You know, this person when you met them, they, like there's a lot of defensiveness here with this person, <clears throat> and there's kind of an energy here of like someone that maybe have just kind of started getting over a bad relationship in the past um, um but I really I think you've you've healed them or you are in the process of healing them because I just you know um yeah you've kind of made them believe basically like you've made them believe in love again it's incredibly sweet um <clears throat> yeah you've kind of changed this person's like I'm saying, you kind of change their perspective here <clears throat> with the hanged man and this eight of wands. Like, I think they think differently now. Um, there may have been like a um a period of separation here, or like a period where you're not talking, or they're not they're not giving you a lot. Okay, but you've I really feel like you've changed this person's perspective a lot. They seem a lot more free now. I think when you met this person, something had gone on with someone from the past and they'd kind of blocked everything out. Like, I think they just weren't thinking about love. Um, but then they met you and yeah, everything just changed and like there's this, they, yeah, they just, there's, there's like a passion here again for life. You know, with the Eight of Wands, there's like this kind of freedom and happiness that I really feel has come from meeting you. See, you may, yeah, but I don't think they've said any of this to you. Um, you have uh, the Nine of Pentacles here with the Queen of Cups, okay, so, um, 
they just think you're wonderful and they just love you. And with this nine of pentacles, this is someone here who really sees your worth. They really, really see your worth. Um, this is someone, you're kind of the person that they are holding out for now. Because I, I really, th it, this is, this is like a soulmate connection. This is like a very intense connection. Um, see with this Queen of Cups as well, this is just love. This is like a very healthy, loving, very fair relationship, like very balanced. You know, there's, there's like a lot of balance in this relationship. Um, yeah, they just think you're wonderful. Nine of Pentacles, just think you're wonderful. But with that Queen of Cups, like, um, yeah, you've been very, very healing for this person. Like, you've really helped balance this person out because the Queen of Cups, the thing about her is um, she's been through a lot, but she's come out clean on the other side. Like, Andy Dufresne crawling through a river of doo-doo <laughs> and coming out clean on the other side. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, this person has been, like if you've been in separation for a while, they've been healing, okay? And I think they didn't even realize when they met you that they needed to heal. I think this has all been, it may have been over a period of a few months or something, but they may, it may have been coming out without them even noticing. You know what I mean? There's been like a purge here, I think, since they met you. This may be why, if there has been a period of separation, it may have been enforced by the universe so that this person could heal, um, possibly so that you could heal as well. But I, I haven't really drawn cards on, on you. It's more about your person, but um, yeah. With that moon card, there's some subconscious fears, okay? And the queen of wands, she's always my card of like, you know when you just get dumped <laughs> and you're kind of in that phase of like oh you know what like the hell with men or like the hell with women like I'm just gonna like party my ass off and like get drunk and I'm just gonna focus on my business and like whatever like I don't even need a relationship you know it's that kind of she's she's slightly prickly it's she is very independent and she's awesome like she's gorgeous she's got you know social butterfly all this kind of stuff but there's an undercurrent for me with the Queen of Wands that she's being a little too independent. Do you know what I mean? Like, kind of not letting people in because she doesn't trust them anymore is, is the kind of energy that I always pick up with the Queen of Wands. So there's, there's an element here of defensiveness with this person, which I'm sure you've noticed if, uh, if you know them. Like, uh, you know, I'm sure this, is, this has come become a parent. So what's going on with your person? You have the king and the queen of wands, okay? Um, this person is not, I feel, is not expressing themselves at the moment, um, but I feel that they're learning to, okay? This, they may have like, this, this may not just be from past relationships, this may go way back to childhood where they were kind of taught not to express themselves or something, but, um, the King of Swords is someone, this is someone who has like a lot of emotions running deep, but he doesn't express them. Uh, he just doesn't express them. But then you have the Queen of Swords here who is, you know, she's a little less defensive. She's kind of, she's got, you know, one arm up like, hey, come talk to me. But then the other, she still has the sword. So it seems to me like they're kind of learning. Like there's been this kind of purge and they're, they're sort of learning <laughs> how to be less defensive and how to let go so that you guys can have this. Um, there's definitely healing here with the star card, <clears throat> for sure. And with that Empress, 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 <laughs> oh my God, I can't talk. The Empress card, um, she's healing as well. She's growth and um, this person is um, learning self-love, okay? <clears throat> um, if you're dealing with a woman, this is her like entering into her divine feminine energy like properly. Um, but you know, if you're not, it's simply, it's someone who is like healing and growing, healing and growing, uh, like kind of learning to be, I think that this person's kind of learning to calm down. You could well be dealing with a, an air sign. You don't, you don't have to be, but um, 
I think this person is really learning to kind of be happy where they are in the moment because there may have been always this thing with them of like not st hold on not staying in the one place all the time because they were always running and like with the defensiveness like kind of not letting people get close. <clears throat> There's kind of an energy here with this person of like them leaving before anybody kind of got close to them. But with the Empress, I feel like they're kind of settling down here um, and healing. And for sure, like again, there's a new perspective here that you've given them with this Ten of Wands. Whatever this heavy thing was they were carrying around with them, this heavy burden, like this, I don't know, terrible relationships from, from the past or this thing from their childhood that they've, they've been carrying you've been you've given them a new perspective like with that ace of swords there's been some kind of brain smart here <laughs> where they've been like oh i oh that's how like people are supposed to be i get it now like i understand like, I, I understand why, why none of my past relationships have worked out because I've been, like, going for losers or, like, I've been letting people treat me badly or something. You know what I mean? You may have been having a realisation too. You may have triggered each other, but uh, this person's been resting with that Four of Swords. There's been a period of resting here while, while they balance themselves. And I feel like this has been quite a strong purge that may have been coming for a while. You know what I mean? You've, you've definitely triggered this person. <clears throat> so there, that's like, if, if you've not heard from this person and there's been this kind of period of separation, this could be why, because they're healing, okay? They needed some time to heal um, because they have, I love myself deeply and completely here. <clears throat> Which it talks about self-acceptance, <clears throat> the, the green card, because it's a heart chakra card which uh, the heart chakra is the place where all, like all the misery kind of gets stored you know like every time somebody hurts you like the bad memories and all that kind of stuff it gets stored in the heart chakra because it's like your brain so you know kind of when you're when you're clinging on to like not not that this person is doing it deliberately but you know it gets stored in your heart chakra so it's difficult to love again or like allow yourself to be loved so I feel like they're healing that and they're well it'll take a long time but I think you have that will happen in time um but they're tr they're sort of trusting in the universe at the moment that like this is going to work out they're kind of learning to to be trusted but also with this and this this four of swords here I feel like there's kind of been like this period of stasis that their guides may have put them in so they could heal um this may have been necessary for the development of the relationship and you have my consciousness is expanding so this person like I said you might have triggered them like they might be going through an awakening here because that tends to be what happens as well <laughs> um <clears throat> So uh, their intentions towards you, Virgo. Um, I feel like this person has been alone for a long time. And they have been confused for a long time, Virgo, because I think so. I think they have chosen to be alone for a long time because I think many people have hurt them with the Seven of Cups. You know, I think. It came to a point with this person where, is that going to focus? Thank you. It came to a point with this person where, you know, everybody may have seemed like a snake in the grass <laughs> because I think maybe they've been hurt by so many people. They just, they just didn't know which way was forward. They just didn't know, like there was just, there's just a real lack of trust here with this person. Um, <laughs> I think because they've been kicked in the balls so many times, but they're they're leaving that behind with this Seven of Swords so they can come towards you, okay? Because um, they're gonna give you their heart for a go, or they want to, this is their intention, okay? <clears throat> this is what they wanna do. They want, they wanna stop being so defensive and give you their heart. 
because this is a very with this six of cups this is a special connection like this is some kind of soulmate past life connection or something like i think you guys have been brought in to heal each other and like i say i think for the first time in a long time they're starting to feel excited about life again you're making them feel excited about life and um, because with that six of swords they're moving away and the five of swords is all about like uh, pain and confusion and conflict and change and not knowing which way is up and i feel manipulation because it just makes sense see with the seven of where's it going the seven of cups <clears throat> this is very much an energy of someone who's had it rough like someone who has put their trust in people time and time again and they keep putting it in the wrong people like they keep putting their trust in the wrong people here so like there, there may have been someone very manipulative in this person's past or many people but with you i think they're moving away from all that they just want to move they just want to run away with you <laughs> they just want to run away with you to like calmer waters because they see they just see potential and passion like it's like you've woken them up it's like you woke them up uh so that's okay your advice so we'll come back to that um so your near future these cards are amazing <laughs> um <clears throat> Virgo. So your near future, so first, okay, divine timing, okay, this, this, this is going to happen in divine timing, so the best, you know, just, just chill, <laughs> put your faith in the universe, okay, it's going to happen in divine timing, the lover's card, and uh, the two of cups, there's going to be some kind of union here, um, I think you guys are going to have a chat, if you've not been in, commun in communication they're going to contact you and if you're talking but there's no real information or like feelings or anything coming out there's going to be a chat soon because with that lover's card this is two people that are there may be passion in your future quicker than you expect i'm just going to put it that way because the lover's card was the first card out in your near future <laughs> And you know, you had the Ace of Wands came out as the first card in the reading. This person has a lot of passion for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying like that, passion, okay? <laughs> so, um, and also I, I didn't take the card because it freaks people out, but imminent pregnancy kept trying to come out for you guys, okay? So, <laughs> just saying, just saying. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be a union here. There's gonna be a union, there's gonna be a heart-to-heart -heart chat nothing nothing sure with this three of cups there's gonna be some kind of date okay you guys are gonna start um you know you there's a celebration here there's a celebration you're gonna be very happy there's there's victory with this six of wands um with this four of wands there's commitment okay and with this page of pentacles um well i mean this is your car i mean this is one of your cards virgo because it's um um Oh my god, my mind just went totally blank. A pentacle. Because <laughs> it's the pentacles. It's like earth. Um, and I do think there may be an age gap in this relationship, but I feel like this could be you offering your heart to this person or vice versa. Um, but someone here, see, it doesn't really matter about the, the sign, but this kind of, I would say not, they could be a little shy, but... Um, I feel like this person may have been reticent to offer their heart to you before or like I said they're coming up here as the king and the queen of swords so kind of reticent to express feelings or emotions but they, they will they're going to I, I think they may slowly open up to you so I would say um, uh, you know I would say take their actions rather than their words with this person um, you know maybe like if they're not saying how they feel let them show you put it that way right like not in a dirty way i mean like if you know if the, like they may not say everything that they're feeling but like if they're treating you with like respect and you can see you can see the love you know what i mean properly like you know just give this person some time because they may not be good at expressing themselves but with this four of one there's um this is commitment there's commitment here okay like 
some kind of proper commitment like entering into a relationship together, making it official, maybe moving in together. I don't know, given everything that's happened, um, maybe you guys will just decide you don't want to be apart, I don't know. Uh, this can also be engagement and marriage, but that's your near future, so I don't know, maybe you are going to get married in the near future, but um, might be a bit sudden for some of you guys, I don't know. So your advice. Um, <clears throat> I think you have to be doing some letting go here as well, Virgo. This reading hasn't really focused much on you, but for your advice you have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So there's kind of a need here for you also to change, to let go of the sadness from your past and to kind of let go of any feelings of inferiority that you might have because this person does not see you that way. Like if you're thinking to yourself like, oh my god, like I don't feel worthy, like if I don't know, I feel like this person's, I don't know. If there's some kind of feeling, because the Five of Pentacles can be like feeling left out in the cold, like not feeling good enough. So if you have any feelings like that about this person, you gotta let them go because they do not see you like that at all. Like you are this person's like world. <laughs> um, they want you to have faith with the Fool card, like trust in the process, trust in the universe that this, like take a leap of faith that this will happen and try and stay steady. Um, it could be you that needs to make an offer here with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, but um, you know, just try and stay steady. Like maybe f focus, focus on what you want. Focus on what it is you want. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I don't know, maybe they're asking you to focus on your work. Um, maybe you're the one that needs to make this offer. But whatever it is, like just stay in your lane. <laughs> Like, stay in your lane, focus on you, and just stay calm. <laughs> that, should, that seems to be your advice. Um, so messages from your person. Yeah, oh, you have a think about you all the time. Could definitely be on your side. <laughs> I think about you all the time. Underneath that, you have wedding bells. Um, you have, you are always on my mind. This person never stops thinking about you. You are my sunshine. Yeah, they're a little intimidated, which is funny because I feel like you might be a little intimidated by them, Virgo. I think you're intimidated by each other. I think you're both awesome and you don't realise how awesome you both are. You are my everything. Uh, I'm going to come back to this one. You already know them. So this person feels like it could well be a past life connection, soulmate past life, because they already feel like they know you. <laughs> they're a little suspicious of you <laughs> but that's I think due mainly to their past it's nothing to do with you you know I think it's it's kind of one of those too good to be true things um because that can be another meaning of the seven of cups like it's too good to be true kind of thing uh yeah you're so beautiful they just think you're hot this is coming through really strongly in this reading Virgo like they think you're so hot and union coming so this person thinks union's coming soon. Um, there's someone else. I don't see any third party energy in this reading, okay? So this seems to me to be more like they wonder if maybe you have someone else or maybe you're wondering if this person has someone else but they, like, they don't. I don't see any third party energy in this reading. This is more about, uh, maybe you do have someone else, I don't know, but this seems like with with your person here anyway it seems to be more about their brain what's going on in their brain and kind of i think the universe gave you guys a little period of reflection so this person could heal uh so i'm gonna leave it here virgo i hope you enjoyed your reading i enjoyed reading for you thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to do that and yeah don't be a stranger bye